of Biotechnica. This is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. So today in this video, I'll be talking about the top 10 ways that you can get a fully funded PhD in India. Yes. So first, let's talk about what are the competitive examinations that are available and how you can get a fully funded PhD. And I'm going to talk about without the competitive examinations like CSIR or any other uh, thing, how can you actually get a fully funded PhD also in India? So first, let's talk about the competitive examination and then I'll be talking about um, without this, what is the other alternative also. The first is going to be competitive examination as we already know about CSIR, UGC, JRF, NET. If you're going to clear, this is JRF examinations. If you're going to get, definitely you can avail a fully funded PhD in India. The next one, DBT, JRF examination, BET examination, if you're going to clear, definitely you're going to get a fundings from the department Department of Biotechnology and you can avail a fully funded PhD in India and you can avail or you can enter into any of the government laboratories and you can start pursuing your PhD. The next of course is going to be gate examination. I'm going to talk about this gate examinations also in detail. So what are the uh, subjects that are available? What, uh, what are the things you can go in for? And gate is usually uh, uh, the funding is given by the institutions like IIT, IICs and the uh, funding varies according to the institutions. So we cannot say a specific amount of fundings will be given uh, to the gate examination or gate qualified candidate. The next one, all of you know about Indian Council of Medical Research. So if you're going to write ICMR examination, it's going to be 120 fellowship available. Uh, so if you clear this examination, then you can also avail a PhD position, which is fully funded in India. The next one, uh, Indian Council of Agriculture Research. If you're going to write ICAR examination, JRF1, then definitely you can also get a fully funded PhD in India. The next is going to be ARS Net JRF. This is for agricultural. So if you're going to write this examination, then definitely Definitely, you can also uh, get a fully funded PhD in India. So this is about the competitive examinations if you're going to clear and definitely there are opportunity that you can actually avail a fully funded PhD in India. The next question comes for us is what other alternatives? Okay, I have not cleared any examinations. Can I get a fully funded PhD in India? Is it possible? If you're going to ask me, then I'm going to tell you, yes, it is possible. But you have to put a lot of effort as people who have cleared uh, any of the competitive examination. The next way is you can approach the PI principal investigator, a scientist, a professor in a college or in a university who has fundings for a project. That's very, very important because uh, without a funding, it's really, it's very difficult for you to uh, go for a long run in a PhD. So it's going to be very difficult. So look for a person or a PI uh, whose research interest matches with yours or what are the projects that you like. Look for a scientist or a PI and then check for the fundings that are available in the laboratory and what are the openings that are available in the laboratory if suppose they have an openings available in the laboratory with fundings fully funded fundings and if they are not going to ask any kind of clearing any competitive examination then you can definitely go for this this is another way there are two ways that the PI used to recruit one way is uh, people who have cleared competitive examination only they will be called for the interview the second some of the professors or scientists will a call for non-net candidates who have not cleared any of the examination and you can go and you can avail this kind of projects in universities more predominantly not in a, a national laboratories to be very very specific so another important thing is you can email the professor suppose uh, if the, if you really wanted to go in for a specific research and you're finding a professor uh, who has a funding for a project that you are really really interested about suppose let's take a microbiology project so what you can do is you can email the professor and say that you have a great research in interest and you've been following the laboratory for so long and you highlight onto the research works that's going on by reading the research paper of the laboratory and tell how you can contribute to the laboratory. So if you're going to do that, it's going to be possible. So it, this happens 
mainly because of networking suppose if you meet a scientist or a professor in a conference you can approach them uh, talking about these things very specifically so even without an examinations or with examinations there are people who avail a fully funded phd by approaching directly the pi or scientist this needs very specifically networking the next important one is going to be institutional fundings yes these are if i have to talk about csar jrf or dbt or icmr or ic AR, if you very specifically look into this one, you will find there are funding uh, agencies who will uh, fund the candidates if they clear the examination, like CSAR used to fund, DBT used to fund, ICMR used to fund. So they used to fund. But there are some institutions who conducts their own entrance examinations. And as I already mentioned, GATE is usually going to be through the institutional fellowship. So it's not by the DBT organization who's going to provide for the uh, candidates who have cleared. It is like institutional fund. Funding. So, GATE funded will be, uh, it will be done by all most of the IITs and IAC, so which is GATE Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering. And there are majorly many uh, subjects, like 29 subjects, so you can choose one among them. So, for life science candidates who would like to go in for any of these GATE subjects, you can take up. So, Agricultural Engineering, BT, Biotechnology, Chemical Engineering, uh, Chemistry, and then Environmental Science, Ecology and Evolution life sciences and if you clear gate examination and if there's going to be fundings for you it will be given by IITs or IACs so the funding may be variable uh, it varies according to the institution so it can range from 12,400 to 25,000 it is variable I'm just telling uh, uh, average amount that will be given to the gate candidate but it is variable actually the next one is entrance examination of different universities different organizations so if you have not qualified any of these examination then you can write entrance examination that are conducted by different universities in india so you can uh, actually get notified through biotechnica which is really amazing where you can find a lot of notification which keeps coming for the entrance examinations in universities where you can get a fully funded phds also so this is about the institutional funding institutional fundings are possible if you're going to write entrance examination if you you're going to clear it and if you're going to clear the interview then definitely you can go for it and there are some fellowship or phd fellowship apart from these things you can look for some meritorious scholarship to avail a fully funded phd in india so the major thing all of you know about is it's going to be dst inspire phd fellowship so this dst inspire PhD fellowship is given to a graduate who has uh, cleared MSc examinations uh, getting a university rank gold medalist. Then you can apply for this DST Inspire PhD program where you're going to get a funding similar to that of a competitive examination that you have done. So if you are someone who is an MSc, so if you're going to get a first rank in your university and avail this uh, gold medal, then definitely you can apply for DST Inspire fellowship. There are two ways that you can apply to. The first way is you can register as a PhD um, program and then you can avail a final offer. The second way is you get a provisional offer from DST and then you register and then get the final offer. So both the ways are possible by DST Inspire and usually you will get a notification between November to January tentatively. The next one is going to be NCRT. It's National Council, Council of Educational Research and Training also provide merit-based or net exam-based scholarships. So so this is not only net exam graduates can have if you're going to be very good enough in your MSc level and if you have scored really well then uh, NCRT also provides PhD fellowship for you it will be tentatively between September and November so you can also apply for this one so there are many meritorious scholarship uh, so DST Inspire is one of the most prestigious one where you will not have uh, problems with your fundings very specifically the next one the entrance examination of organization as I already told you institutional fundings comes so gate is there and many universities usually conducts examination so how you can go entrance examination is another possibility one is JG bills or TIFR JG bills even though you have qualified most of the competitive examination, you have to write JG bills or TAFI exams, then only you can go in for this one. So this is actually conducted every year and the notification comes in October and the examination will be by December. 
online based examination and the fellowship is similar almost similar to that of CSIR DBT exam ICMR uh, fellowship rupees 31000 for first two years and 35000 for the rest of the years and the age limit there's no age limit to apply for this one so definitely you can go for this JG bills the next one actrack yes so if you have not qualified any of the examination you can literally write an entrance examination if you're really interested in oncology research cancer research then you can definitely take up actrack examination so this is uh, actually conducted by TMC Tata Memorial Center and it will be conducted annually every year you will find and the notification will be every November and the examination will be by May but because of pandemic it is by January this has happened and it's MCQ and there's no age limit everybody can apply and the fellowship is similar with 24 percentage HRA so ACTRIC is a wonderful scholarship if anybody is looking for oncology fully funded fellowship you're going to get in India. Next, AIMS PhD entrance examinations. So this will be conducted twice actually. So January or February you can expect in the first time or May or June second time. And the examination will be by March and July. And it's also online and there's no age limit Whoever it is can apply. There's no upper age limit here. And the fellowship is rupees 31,000 for first two years, similar to that of the other fellowship. The next one is JNU uh, W exams. So here it is conducted only once. JNU PhD, uh, Jawaharlal Nehru University, you can go for. March or July, you can expect the notification and you will have the examination by September month. And there's no age limit and the examination is going to be online only. And there are other PhD uh, entrance examination. You can go for NIMHENS in Bangalore. NIPA PhD entrance examination is available. Lot of universities. So here we have listed only about Hyderabad. There are other universities which calls for PhD entrance examination. There are many private institutions also which calls for PhD entrance examinations. You can go in for Gujarat Technological University, National Brain Research Institute conducts entrance examination. Of course, Baba Atomic Research Center usually conducts entrance examination and then go for the interview. People who have qualified any of the examination will directly go for the interview. That's the only bypass that they can do. So entrance examination through any of these entrance examination, if you're going to qualify, then you can also get a fully funded PhD position. So you don't have to rely only on this competitive examination. You can write all the examination, whichever comes on your way so whichever is very helpful and you find the fellowship is good enough for you then you can take up that fellowship the next one get to know phd scholarship and timelines this is very very important because people knows examination but you need to know what are the scholarships that are available if you are not able to clear any of these examinations so always get to know uh, any other alternatives are there or not so you have to know pmrf fellowship very specifically so we have a video on that please do look, watch it out and the next one csar ugc jrf fellowship as we have talked dbt icmr so you need to know when the notification come when the examination will be done if it's not that then what are the entrance exams that are available where you can get fully funded phd the next one a reservation and minority PhD scholarships are also available. So if you are belonging to a minority category like Muslim, Christian or any of the minority in India, then there is a fellowship available for you. The, that one is going to be Maulana Azad National Fellowship for minority students. But the income has to be less than 6 lakh. So you have to check that for a year. Uh, rest of the things you can literally apply. This usually given for MPhil as well as for PhD. So you have to check onto the website and you will get to know about this uh, Maulana Azad National Fellowship. This will be coming twice a year actually, June and December. June and December you will be expecting. The next one, there are PhD scholarships that are available in India for SC and ST students also. And there is PhD fellowship for single girl child also. It's available. So there is a reservation also. There is also going to be for minority also. So people who are belonging to this one, then you can also avail this kind because it's going to be a kind of less competitive when you compare it with the other ones. And the next one is going to be advertised PhD position for both net and non-net candidates. Okay, suppose you have not qualified any competitive examination, you have not done entrance examination. If you are thinking in your mind, whether can I get a fully funded PhD in India, I'm going to tell you, look for some advertised PhD positions, um, whether for a net candidates or non-net candidates, usually be popping up um, in Biotechnica website also, you can find for non-net candidates, there's a position available for PhD or JRF or SRF, whatever comes on your way, just start up 
applying for this. So you can look on to very specifically two websites I'm going to tell you in India. One is Biotechnica. You can definitely go for it. Personal suggestion from my side and definitely LinkedIn. So to LinkedIn, if you're going to like any project of a particular person, you can follow an institution or you can literally connect with the uh, principal investigator. And whenever he posts any kind of notification or any vacancy in his laboratory, then you can apply for this. So it can be for non-net also, for non-net uh, qualified candidates also will be available. So you have to be updated if you have not qualified. And you have to be updated about other things if you have qualified any of these examinations. And whenever you go for any laboratories, uh, whether through the competitive examinations or through fundings or personally you have mailed a PI and you got anything, always look for the laboratories, the fundings that the laboratory has, what are the publication, who are the alumni, where are they, uh, whether they got some good position even after finishing their PhD all these things you have to take when you're applying through a advertised PhD positions also. The next one, the next way is like join as a JRF or research assistant or project assistant. So people who have qualified competitive examination can easily avail JRF in most of the institution if you clear interview also and you can join them. After that, you can convert the JRF into a PhD position but for candidates onto the other side who have not cleared what you can do is you can join as a JRF in a person who can fund you and if you're going to clear any interview then you'll be hired as a JRF or you can drive a project assistant where you don't have to clear examination after that you convert those things into your PhD by writing any examinations or you can sometimes write a research proposal by yourself and you can submit it to the DBT and you can avail a fellowship separately and you can also continue your PhD PhD in India. So always convert that into a PhD if you can avail JRF and if you're very, very comfortable in the lab along with a project. The next one, network with the PI through LinkedIn before going for any interviews. If you have qualified examination, if you are going for an interview or if you have not qualified examination, you have approached a PI who is willing to fund you. Then whatever it is, always mail the professor when you go for the interview beforehand. This is very, very important because it is showing your interest that you would like to work in the laboratory because even after clearing many examinations, there are situations people never land up in a, a PhD position just because they would not be selected during the interview process because you do not have a communication with the PI. So what you have to do is since a lot of people come after clearing examination also, it's always good enough that you talk to the principal investigator or the scientist or the professor beforehand you go in for the interview. So these are some of the top 10 ways that you can get a fully funded PhD in India. So the first thing, you can clear competitive examination and you can avail a fully funded PhD. The second, you can approach the PI whether he has a funding and he is ready to give you uh, fundings for his project then you can definitely go and you can start as a fully funded PhD graduate or institutional fundings will be given if you have qualified gate or you can write some entrance examinations which I was talking about and look for some meritorious scholarship if you have uh, good ranks in your MSc or if you're belonging to uh, you had a very good mark in your MSc or something then you can definitely go for and always get to know all the PhD scholarships fellowships that's available even you can uh, look for scholarship where you have registered in India and where you can fly over for one year abroad and then you can come back that is also available for Indian students and reservation minority if you're belonging to then you get to know about those uh, PhD fellowships also and look for some uh, notification which comes for both net and non-net candidate whoever it is can go for it and always join if you are not having any other opportunity join as a project assistant or research assistant or JRF so that you get at least an experience where you can start applying for this and always network with a PI before going for any interview. So these are the top ways that you can actually get a fully funded PhD in India. So what do you think about uh, getting a fully funded PhD in India is easier or tougher? So what's the problem you face when you are applying for a PhD position? Uh, just put it in the comment section. Thank you all of you.